Is this the deepest part of the abyss of time? You think so? Looks the same as everywhere else to me. It would make sense, considering the path we've taken. And that means the source of the abyss, and therefore the time loop, should be here. Oh, I almost forgot! Speaking of the abyss, I found something in those notes about it that I mentioned earlier. You did? They said that this place came to be as a reaction to the creation of Tartarus. A reaction? Yes. Because a giant tower appeared out of nowhere, and ended up leaving a massive hollow in its place. That's the Abyss. So they've known about this place for ten years? They thought that it would be harmless if left alone, and that it would probably disappear when Tartarus did. But the notes also said that since the Abyss is just a byproduct of Tartarus, there shouldn't be any shadows in it. Seriously? Uh... Counterpoint, there's a shitload of shadows here! And if it was supposed to go poof along with Tartarus, then why are we standing in it? They forget a decimal place or something? No, their logic makes sense. But some kind of force prevented it from vanishing. So the other side's disappearance caused an imbalance. What could that force be? Who knows? Maybe it's down here somewhere. But one thing's for certain. It's deeply connected to all of you. The hell's up with that? What'd we do to deserve this? Well, there's another door. If it is down here, then maybe... So whatever's past that could be what's causing all this? If we leave out Aegis, Metis, and me, Whose past is left? Yeah. Gotta be someone else with a reason for their power, right? Well, there's no point wasting time thinking about it. It's literally right there. Let's just open it. Then we'll know. Whatever the cause is, it's strong enough to keep the Abyss of Time from disappearing. And we'll be trying to destroy it. We could be in for a battle. We should make sure we're prepared for that. She's right. This is where we aim to settle everything. And I know we can do this. to protect you. I dedicated my entire existence to it. But I can't fulfill my purpose now. There's nothing I can do anymore. Is there anything left for me to live for? Is there a meaning to any of it? <sighs> if this is what it's like now, then I... I wish I could just be a simple machine again. So, that was... that was the cause? That... don't look at me. Well, um, I was glad to be able to see him again. Even if it was just from behind. Indeed. <sighs> that was obviously Igis's memory just now. But what's it mean? I guess that was supposed to be her reason for awakening? But she already had a persona. She didn't awaken to that one. 
She awakened to the Persona abilities that he had. I guess what was that memory? And when did it happen? <sighs> it's... where I would always wake up. It was so painful losing him. I couldn't bring myself to do anything, so... I just hid in my room for a while. I did nothing but chase after him in my dreams. Oh, I guess... Sister. Eventually, I stopped having dreams at all. It felt like the weight on my chest was lightening. Until it was lifted entirely, what we saw just now... Must have been the last time I had that dream. But honestly, I don't know why that would be my reason. Sister. Are you still in pain? The person we saw in your dream. He's the one with the same power as you, isn't he? <sighs> so that's what's supposed to have caused all this? How? None of this makes sense! You still don't get it? He only saw it in my sister's memory. But all of you want to see him again, right? If that's the case, then the conclusion is simple. What are you saying? I guess what I said at the beginning was right after all. Eliminating all of you... ...would have been the fastest way to solve this. So... ...that figure we keep seeing... Wait, something's wrong. What the...? Just as I thought, a monster is coming. Your regrets themselves give me form. of everything the abyss of time not disappearing shadows being present within it what you see now is a being of your own creation Do the 
best move. This is my choice. was a monster of our own creation but that was don't worry yukari it may have taken his form but that was a shadow at least it seemed like one to me wait how does that make sense it was using personas 
personas are supposed to be used to fight shadows, right? Wait, so you don't know? Personas and shadows are the same thing. That's why you're able to fight them in the first place. Shadows are the basis components of the human mind. Suppressed thoughts given physical form. When people lose the strength to face the darkest parts of themselves, those parts break loose, free from all control. But in rare cases, people with a certain awareness are able to consciously tame their shadows. That's all it is. So, Persona users are just people who can control their own shadows? Wait, back up a sec. So, Personas and Shadows are just different names for the same thing? How didn't you know? Wouldn't whoever created me and my sister had to have known that? No one involved with that is still alive. <laughs> so then, our personas are the cause of all this? The power of shadows affects both time and space. So it makes sense that your subconscious thoughts would be manifested through your personas. You can't accept time moving on. You don't want to admit that you live in a present where you've lost someone precious. So that's... that's why it looked like him. Time stopped. Just like we wanted. And now we're stuck here with our memories. We're the ones who trapped ourselves. <sighs> How ironic. Well, regardless of what it was, we beat that thing. We understand our regrets. So shouldn't we be able to leave now? Yes. Whoa! What the hell's this now? It looks like... a key. Those must be the keys that will allow you to leave. Once you make it outside, the abyss of time should disappear on its own. But, um, why are there eight of them? Because you all had a hand in causing this. These keys can be likened to the power of your hearts. The door should open if you use all eight at once. Strength of heart, when united, is barred by no door. Is this what he meant? So, we just put them all together and we're good? Cool. And let's get the hell out of here. Oh, wait, uh, these are for the dorm entrance, right? There is that, but it's not your only option. There's another door as well. One that doesn't lead to the outside world. You can exit through it, or the entrance. Those are your choices. A door that doesn't lead outside, huh? So the one to his room, why the choice? The entrance will return you to the present, but the other door leads to the past. The past? The world of the past. You've all been there many times now, but this time, the abyss will disappear if you go through that door. You'll actually be in the past. What? Are you being straight with us? Why would I lie? I'm just telling you what I know. Let me see if I understand correctly. We have to choose between moving forward past our regrets or revisiting the source of them. What do you want to do? Me? I'll go along with whatever you decide, sister. I just... want to save you from this awful fate. That's all I care about. Awful fate? So what will you choose? I... <sighs> hey, uh... Why don't we go back to the dorm first? This is way too heavy to decide right here. Yes, I agree. What's going on? What the hell are these cracks in the floor? It's becoming unstable. We still have time, but not much. 
If these fissures reach the door, we might not be able to leave, even with the keys. It's just one thing after another, isn't it? So, uh... Guess we gotta decide what to do with these keys, huh? Um, well, I want to stay in the present. I think that's what he would have wanted, too. What he would have wanted, huh? I've been thinking. He died so suddenly, and they never even figured out the cause. I get the feeling that he... he must have given his life to make some kind of miracle happen. He thought about it, weighed his options, and ultimately chose to leave this world to us. Died? Miracle? That's why, personally, I don't want to just undo his decision. I want to respect his sacrifice. Uh, Amada-kun. I'm with Amada. We all saw the resolve it takes to face death head on and accept it. That resolve and what it brought about. Even if it hurts, we have to accept it too. That's how we honor his memory. Yukari, what about you? You're all about the here and now, right, Yucatan? You gotta look forward, huh? That's practically your motto, ain't it? I... I... want to go back. Yeah, I always tell myself to look forward and let go of the past. But... this is different. We might be able to change something. We can't pass that up. Yukari. So you take away his choice for your own. That's not what I said. We can actually change the past. What's wrong with wanting that? Then let me ask you. If you prevented your father's death, what would happen? The people you've met, what you've gone through with them, it'd all be gone. And you wouldn't be the person you are now. It's the same for Shinji and Miki wouldn't erase their deaths either. Every single thing about my past is important. Because it all shaped who I am. But that's not even... Uh, guys, guys! Let's all take it down a notch, okay? Take it down a notch? Are you kidding? If anything, we're not taking this seriously enough! We can save him from dying! Don't you want to bring him back? Of course! I want him back, but is yelling at each other like this really gonna solve anything? And think about it. If we go back, we'd have to face Nyx again. What? So you're just afraid to fight? No! I... Well, I am, but... Uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but everyone needs to calm down, all right? I, I guess, son. How do you think we should use the keys? I am... Um, the past or the present? I'm just not sure. You seriously won't make a choice? The day we said our goodbyes, you were the only one who didn't show up. You got to hear his last words, and now you even have his power. But you still don't know how you feel about him? Listen, I know it hurts. Believe me. It hurts so much, I can't stand it, but... Yukari-san, I... Forget it. Nothing I say will make a difference anyway. Metis, does everyone have to agree for the keys to combine? Not necessarily. The keys themselves don't have opinions. So in other words, it's possible to take them by force and combine them. Are you saying you want to fight? I don't want to. But if we can't agree, we don't have a choice. We're running out of time. And talking hasn't gotten us anywhere. You have a point. This matter concerns the life of a dear friend. I doubt any of us will be easily swayed. 
So in that case... Wait, Harijo-senpai? I had already made my decision. I will stand with Yukari. Senpai... They're siding with Takeba. Are you sure? All right. I guess you've got your reasons. And I've got mine. Well, I'm sticking with my sister. I'll protect her no matter what. That makes sense, Metis. You know what's important to you. So you understand why I can't back down either, right? Yes. Everyone, wait! Don't do this! I made my feelings clear. Now you... No. Now everyone needs to recognize their own feelings. Think about who he was. And what he meant to us. We'll need a proper venue for the battles. A place where the results will be absolute. I'll show you the way. Let me know when you're ready. We're really going to fight each other? 